Thanks for having my back out there. I was annoyed. Honestly, I think the whole WWE universe was. So, I guess this means we're finally gonna get our match, huh? You're pretty excited for someone who's about to get handled. <laughs> I see how it is. Well, you just go ahead and underestimate me, champ. Oh, I don't underestimate you at all. I've seen your stuff on the indies. I know you can go, but so can I. You've watched my indie matches? I didn't know you'd be into that. What? Just because I started wrestling at WWE and never had an independent run doesn't mean I can't appreciate what you did there. I mean, that dive off the balcony against La Congrejita Loca? Wild. Self-destructive and probably ill-advised, but wild. Man, if you had ever been a free agent when I was in TBD, I would have gladly jumped off a balcony against you too. That sounds like a blast, except I'm the one who would have been doing the jumping. Don't get me wrong, I'm happy with how it came up, but I do sometimes wonder what an indie career would have been like for me. It sounds like an adventure. Huh. What? Just gets me thinking about our match. About whether I'm going to pin or submit you? No, well, not exactly. Someone recently pointed out that I was lucky enough to experience a fantastical whirlwind tour when I got to WWE. I got to have the adventure. I'm wondering if I should pay it forward. What do you have in mind? You're confident you're gonna beat me anyway, right? Anytime, any place. I was really hoping you'd say that. You want to do what? It's just gonna be two matches. Best of three series. So yeah, it might go to, if Bianca really has no fight in her. It'll probably go two. That's as many as I need. It's not the best of three series that gives me pause. It's the locales. It is the usual custom to defend the WWE Women's World Championship on WWE TV. Sure. We could do that if we want to stick with what's comfortable or, get this, we fight for the Women's World Championship in the coolest indie arenas around. Japan, Mexico, we could even go back to your old stomping grounds in the UK. Honestly, sounds like a great way to push that grassroots international exposure you business types are always talking about. And you know what else it sounds like? Oh, I'm positive you'll tell me. It sounds like a big swing. It sounds like taking advantage of every opportunity on the table. And it sounds like doing something different without being afraid to fail. I know what you're getting at, and I'm not sure I like you turning my words back on me. I'm sorry to interject, but this is ridiculous. It's, it's unheard of. Allowing a WWE champion to defend at these underground indie shows? Untelevised? What about, what about the advertisers? Advertisers? Really? I'm afraid Troy makes an excellent point. Marketing will hate this. See? Fortunately, this is not a marketing company. This is a professional wrestling company. A professional wrestling company that's going to take a swing and whose general manager cannot wait to get on the road. Uh. The only question is, where to first? Don't look at me. This is your world. I'm just the adventuring tourist who gets to hit you wherever you so choose. It may be my world, but I say we make it your world to start. What if we go back to your old territory? Match one at Club UK. God save the king.
The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making our way to the ring from Newcastle upon Tyne, England.
Dear, dear, dear. That cannot have gone as you'd hoped. No. Everything went exactly according to my plan of getting hit in the face a bunch. Are you regretting giving Bianca the invitation into the Indies? Not at all. I missed the intimacy of a smaller show. The interaction with the fans. Just didn't expect Bianca to pull the same energy from the crowd quite as easily as she did. Bianca got very comfortable very quickly. If she had come up in the Indies, I would have wanted her for TBD. But that's not going to stop me from beating her at our next stop. Which raises the question, where to next on this great tour of the world? I've been giving that some thought, with an ice pack on my jaw. Bianca hits hard, and so do I. So let's go to the home of strong style, Japan. Sure, if you buy at the Japanese steakhouse we always go to. Deal. That feels like a fitting celebration once I beat Bianca. But only the food. I'm not buying you another jacket. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making our way to the ring from Newcastle upon Tyne, England. Yeah! Let's go!
Ladies, it appears that you two will be going to a final match. Fitting, really. Winning that championship will be even sweeter after going the full series. Don't get cocky. No way you beating me twice in a row. Before you two launch into a witty repartee, I have an update. I've just spoken to the suits in Stamford. They have... thoughts. Well, that's never good. Word of your genuinely marvelous matches has spread, and so has the buzz. They were insistent that the next match will be on WWE television. They want us to do the match on Raw? You promised us we could see this through in indie arenas. Indeed I did, so I reached an agreement. We will be producing a portion of next week's Raw live from the location of your final match. Oh, wow. Uh, listen, I know this is a stretch, but how would you both feel about having the match at T... TBD? Yes, a surprising and unexpected suggestion from you. Which is why I have already given instructions for the road crew to meet us there. Wow, it's gonna be super embarrassing to lose on your home turf. But I, for one, am here for it. One idea, though. What's that? With everything I know about TBD, and since it's the final match, kind of seems like it should be no DQ, right? Bianca Belair, you have no idea what you just asked for. <laughs> Deal. Geneva is gonna freak. Wow. <laughs> I'll second that wow. And raise you a hot damn. They really got to work in here, didn't they? Can you believe it? After the hectic morning I've had with the crew to get this set up, I can. I had to yell at some guy named Troy a lot. He kept wanting to cover up the TBD signage with raw logos entirely. <laughs> Sounds like Troy. I'm really glad that I could do this for you, Geneva. For us. Did you ever imagine that we'd be here? Honestly? You main eventing a TBD show feels pretty familiar to me. This one just has more logos. You know what I mean. This is different. Later tonight, I'm gonna win the WWE Women's World Championship in the house we built. Living the dream. Hey, you get ready. I've got some contracts to look at. <laughs> Same as always. But seriously, don't get too caught up in paperwork that you forget to enjoy yourself tonight. This is big. Big, big. I know. It is. And I won't. But I also know you'll enjoy this enough for the both of us. Good luck out there. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, and it's for the WWE Women's World Championship! It's a TBD homecoming for the captain! You can see the emotion all over Cap's face. We are tied in this best of three series, and she wants to win it at home. That might be the daydream, but the nightmare comes when she loses it all in front of her hometown crowd. The EST of WWE has come to TBD. Yeah. 
Do you think Bianca's got jitters here tonight, competing out of her element on the captain's home turf? Bianca Belair is a world-class athlete and superstar, no matter what the venue. I think she'll be just fine. Bianca wants to show everyone in TBD why she's the EST. Introducing the challenger from Newcastle upon Tyne, England, and her opponent from Knoxville, Tennessee, the WWE Women's World Champion, Bianca Belair. This is what these competitors have worked so hard for. The Women's World Championship in the balance. It's the main event of WWE at TBD. The title is at stake as TBD Original Cap takes on Bianca Belair in a rubber match for the Women's World Championship. A WWE title defended all over the world and now at a U.S. indie promotion? I never would have believed it. Well, believe that despite the feel-good story, Cap has a huge challenge ahead of her to walk away champion here tonight. She's got the whole WWE Universe rallying behind her. Belair able to adapt. Stiff elbow will break that up. What a hot shot. Sent all the way to the outside. No count out as she takes this fight to the floor. Oh, colliding with a barricade. She throws her back in. She's getting something from under the ring. And she's using this moment to summon all of her strength. Double underhook into a DDT. What a shot! Big clothesline. Taking it to the floor. What's she gonna do? Bianca feeling a rush of confidence right now. Oh, oh, bending heel kick. That'll rock anybody. Could be some collateral damage on the way here. Everyone needs to clear out, including us. And the EST got bested there. And then the roundhouse leg sweep. And now thrown back into the ring. Fez Press takes him down. That was a vicious display. You can almost see the disdain in their eyes. And set right into the corner. Springboard kicked all the way through the ropes to the floor. Taking this outside. This could be good. Uh-oh. That'll tip the skills in this match. Forearm to the jaw. Driven into the barricade. Not the most effective way to take out the trash, but still effective in its own way. Lands the trash can. That'll leave a mark. Bianca's being taken full advantage of now. Bianca here in a disheartening position. Looking for something anything under the ring. And she just flipped the script of this match courtesy of the table. No telling what she'll find under the ring here. Oh boy, come on, not the chair. Throws her back in from ringside. 
Oh, what impact. And then they... Nice the takedown. Boom. Red means stop, and so does that. And she's keeping the pressure on here. She's executing on her plan perfectly. What a sick thug from that table. She's bringing the table into play here. She is done playing around. She's taking this outside. This one cannot be lost by Kata. Evades the attack. Caught with Alaria. Hope you boys put your running shoes on. It might be time to clear out. Oh, quite an effective counter. Not the position you want to be in right now. Oh. And what need is there to go looking under the apron like this? There's literally no limit to what she can do with something like that ladder. What's going on? Why set up the ladder outside the ring? Now, I think we might be about to see something a little extreme, gentlemen. Lots of potential for injury here at ringside. These superstars better be careful. The floor, the barricades, our table. None of these things are fun to collide with. Scaling the ladder now. Go for the kill. Go the ladder. Go to talk about putting it all on the line. Always an extra risk when you dive ringside. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. Piercing elbow drop for the championship! Almost ended it there. This is going to come down to who wants it more. She's getting that table right where that can't be. No, no! There's Joey Styles when you need him. Struggling to find solution. Being carried around with ease. Look out, guys. Now a pen for the championship. And just like that, this journey for the woman they call the captain reaches a conclusion with a victory over Bianca Belair. Hey, this is no 70,000 seat stadium, but on this night in this small theater, this audience feels like WrestleMania. Well, there's nothing like WrestleMania, but I think it means a little bit more to this superstar that her first championship win happened here. A full circle moment, Corey. This woman has followed a long and winding road that brought her back to her beginning. What's next for this superstar? This WWE champion? The sky's the limit. What's Becky Lynch doing here? Becky was the number one contender until she got injured after War Games. Becky's not moving like she's injured now. What does she want? What do you think, Saxton? No, 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 no. Not in my ring. TBD promoter Geneva Rose is not having it. I get she's ride or die with our new champion, but what's she going to do to stop Becky Lynch? You got WWE problems. Go settle them on WWE time. Because believe me when I say, if anyone, anyone tries to interrupt my best friend's hard won moment, it's gonna be me. No, they've been friends for years. Don't trust anybody. This is an assault. This is karma, Saxton. You can only step on so many people before you pay the piper. And she's paying now, but for what? Thanks for coming home, Cap. It was so generous for you to put this show together for me. I know you think I'm slumming it around here, but you forget that I'm proud of what we built together. And I know you're used to taking the credit for everything. So I thought it was important for me to make an appearance tonight, to set the record straight. You'd be nothing without me. Let me be clear. I am not just some best 
friend's side character in your hero's journey. What do you think I've been doing since you left? Sitting around and just following your career with rapt attention? You moved on. I didn't. And I've been putting everything I have into growing TBD. So, when Becky approached me, I was more than happy to help turn your moment into my moment. You can feel the bitterness from Geneva Rose, the jealousy. Recognize this? The contract we wrote in the diner when we first started TBD. Yeah, I had it framed. Thought it was a nice touch. Especially now, because according to this legally binding document, you're still signed exclusively to TBD. You can't work anywhere else. You can't be champion anywhere else. And you belong to me. But she's a WWE superstar. Not according to Geneva Rose. See you next week, Cap. Don't be late.